Good morning. Welcome to my ashram, which means a yoga practice place. Let's bring ourselves to the mat today. Let's just start first. Let's just inhale up. Fill your lungs full of air. What a gift our lungs are. And today, let's dedicate our practice to our own personal healing first and foremost, and then we spread that positive energy out to the world. I dedicate my practice to all the healthcare workers across the globe who are helping others, saving lives. And let's bring our positive energy to the mat. Let's sit on our sits bones. Stack one vertebra, one on top of the other. And let's focus our attention on the slow, even flow of our breath. Let's inhale and fill all the way up into the upper chest. Feel it lift to the sun. And as you exhale, feel gravity gently drawing your knees towards the floor. Let's inhale and fill up the spine and then take the breath into your forehead, the muscles of your cheeks, your jaw, your mouth. And as you exhale, relax all the muscles of the face and feel the knees drawn towards the floor. Inhale and fill up into the upper chest, the face, and take the breath now into your forebrain, the cortex. Let every neuron and neural pathway know that for the next hour as you exhale, we are safe in this safe space. We are here to release the concerns, the fears, the anxieties. Inhale and fill all the way up into the upper chest, into the muscles of the face, into the forebrain, and now into the center brain, where we sometimes hold onto fear. So exhale, relax the center of your brain, all the neurons, neural pathways. Let go of squeezing tight. Relax, release. Inhale up the body into the upper chest, into the facial muscles, forebrain, center brain, and now the old brain. The base of the skull where we have fight or flight, and at this moment we can release the vigilance. Just be present. Let's inhale the arms up and overhead, palm to palm. Feel the sensation of your fingertips and your palms. Touch at the top. And as you exhale, engage your abs. Open your arms. Embrace life. Inhale, open, up, palm to palm. Feel that touch at the top. And now let's exhale to the side and let the stretch go down the side. Inhale and ask your brain to notice the sensations of your muscles. Exhale, letting out the tightness. Inhale, open. We're home a lot now. Maybe we're sitting a lot. Yoga is just so essential in times of stress, times of not being active. Exhale, around over that beach ball. Enjoy the movement in your body. Exhale over the beach ball, round, drop your chin. Inhale, use those abs, lift your sternum, and let's exhale forward towards the mat. And ask your brain just to notice how your hips feel. Are they tight? Your low back? On the exhale, release. Inhale into the center back, upper back, between your traps, between your shoulder blades. Exhale, forward. Let's inhale our bodies up and let's switch our feet. Sitting on those sits bones, feel the energy rise up your body, up your arms to the ceiling. 
and exhale to the side. Inhale, up, separate those shoulder blades. Exhale, over. Inhale, open. And exhale, over the beach ball, across the front. Inhale, open. Lift the chest, engage your abs. Exhale, forehead forward towards the mat. Ask your brain to scan your hips, your low back. Inhale and expand, even into the middle back, upper back, shoulders and neck. And exhale. Let gravity be your partner. Draw you towards the floor. One more nice deep inhale into the hips, the low back, middle back, upper back, neck. And exhale towards the floor. And now let's inhale the body up and bring the bottoms of the feet together. Hands on the shins or laced under the calves, whatever you prefer, forehead towards the mat. Ask your brain to scan your hips and your low back. Inhale, expand all the way up your back, into your shoulder blades, into your neck. And exhale. Let everything let go. Inhale, expand. Make your back wide, big, neck long. Exhale, down. And let's inhale and bring the palms to the shins. Relax those traps. Engage your abs to lift your sternum and your chin. And inhale back. Exhale, push your belly button backwards, round and flow forward. And inhale up like a soft wave on the ocean. Lift the sternum and chin. Exhale, round, flow into the shore. And inhale, rising up, relax the shoulders, engage the abs, sternum, chin, lift. Arch back and let that wave gently round and flow into the shore. And let's inhale our bodies up. Bring the heels to the edges of the mat. Sit on our sit bones. Flex our feet. Press the knees into the floor to engage those thighs. And zip the abdominals up. Inhale. Touch that ceiling with a joyfulness, a movement that makes you realize how ple pleasant and special it is to be able to move in our bodies today. Exhale. Inhale up. Rotate one hand in front. Look over your shoulder. Inhale up the spine. Tighten your glutes a little. Sit tall. Exhale. Rotate. Let's bring the fingertips together. Let's inhale. Rotate. Inhale, exhale, inhale, engage those abdominals, relax the traps, come forward, inhale up, face that right leg hinge forward, massage if you'd like, yeah, self myofascial release, S -s soothe those muscles, yeah, you're letting your big body know that you appreciate it. Compassionate. Inhale up and exhale thread. Inhale, left arm up, exhale thread it under the right. Engage your abdominals, sit tall on those sit bones, touch the ceiling. Let's face the left leg and hinge forward. And gently massage that myofascial release into that thigh. Maybe a little warm up on the hamstring and the calf. Nerve endings on the bottoms of your feet. Hand on the shin, toes, foot. Inhale, right arm up. Follow it with your eyes. And exhale, thread it under the left. Inhale, up. Exhale, thread. 
Engage your abdominals, sit tall or up, and let's wipe the inside of that soccer ball. Feel the perimeter. Relax your traps, your abdominals hold your body, and even your arms can float because the abs are holding us. Good. Let's bring those feet together. Sit on those, engage the abs, and up and down, and up and down, and up and down. I want to demonstrate use of the block in this pose. If you're back, is tight. You know you can always sit on a block. It helps. Up and down, up and down, or even on a towel. Palms up, up. It takes less strain off your low back. Let's you move more freely. Palms down. So don't be afraid to use a tool in yoga. Be kind to your body. Good. Shake them out. I'm going to get off my block, put it over here for us to use later. Ah, let's flex our feet, bend our knees, sit on the sits bones, inhale up. Now engage your abs. As you exhale, point and straighten the knees. Inhale up. We're lengthening the legs and shooting an arrow right out the top of our head to the ceiling. Inhale. Touch the ceiling. Exhale, put your head on the ceiling. Great. Let's take the fingers, take them back. Lift the chin and inhale, arch back. And exhale down. Good, inhale up. Exhale down. Let's not forget to spread those fingers, but if it hurts your wrists, use a fist. Exhale up, inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Good, let's sit on our sits bones, let's bend our knees, all turn sideways. Arms out, palms down, roll out, and let's roll around on that low back. Give it a nice massage in one direction and then the other. Good, inhale the knees up. Tighten your abs, but exhale and roll your knees. Feel that nice twist in the middle upper back. Inhale up, exhale to the other side. Inhale up. You can keep your head straight up or you can turn it in the opposite direction of your knees. Tighten the abs to pull them up. Exhale over. Notice how many times I say tighten the abs. And let's bicycle. Get busy. At 1 and 11, 2 and 10, 3 and 9, 2 and 10, 1 and 11, and straight up. Good. I'm going to do a little different. Bend your knees, turn them out. Extend out the whole leg out the heel. In, exhale in. Inhale out. Exhale in. As you inhale out, really push with the heel and in. Inhale, push with the heel and in. Good. Let's take those feet, let's bridge. Spread your toes apart, balls and the heels on the floor. Inhale, squeeze your glutes, inhale up. Exhale, roll down one vertebra at a time. Inhale up, push the floor away with your feet, squeeze your glutes, exhale, roll down. And remember, you can adapt and adjust and do as much or as little inhale as your body allows. Treat your body like the body of a loved one. Inhale up, how gentle would you be if you were working with a two-year-old child or grandchild you love and adore? Good, let's go take that right foot, 
parallel to the ceiling. Inhale, squeeze that left glute. Exhale down. Inhale, squeeze the left glute. Exhale down. Inhale, squeeze. Exhale down. Inhale, squeeze that glute. Exhale down. Switch feet, flex the left foot parallel to the ceiling. Push with the whole right foot up, squeeze the right glute. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale, put that foot on the ceiling. Exhale down. One more, inhale up. Exhale down, good. Let's take that left foot over the right, draw it in. Lift your head, forehead towards the shin, roll down. And straighten the bottom leg to whatever level allows you to get a nice stretch in the left glute. On the bent leg, that glute. Ah, oh, breathe. And please focus your attention on the slow, even flow of your breath. Big exhale, relax your shoulders. Let's uncross, recross, right over left, forehead up, roll it down. Then straighten or bend the left leg, draw it in, get a nice stretch in that right glute. Breathe, relax your shoulders. Put all your mindful focus, breathing into that right glute. Relax your back, relax your shoulders. Just notice how we sometimes tense and therefore cannot let something relax. So relax all the peripheral muscles. Uncross and now let's rock three or four times up and down the spine. One of my favorite things to do. <laughs> and now we're going to go to our forearm plank. Wide fingers, use the whole palm on the mat, then drop the forearms, walk the knees back, drop the hips, squeeze your abs, glutes, thighs, knees up. Now you can keep one or two knees down as needed, but let this forearm plank work for you. Close your eyes perhaps. Notice what muscles are working the hardest Listen to them. Focus your energy. Remember, energy follows thought. Focus into your abs. Maybe it's your thighs or your glutes, biceps or triceps. If it gets to be too much, put a knee down and focus. If you want, you can challenge yourself. Pick one foot up off the floor. Put it down. Lift the other. Inhale. Exhale. Keep breathing and down. Let's take the one foot to the edge of the mat and then the other, squeeze your glutes, drop those hips. Bring one foot in, then the other one in. And now, with one knee down or up, we're gonna roll and lift. If you're mirroring me, it's your left hand up. Breathe, exhale down. Put the other knee down or up and roll to the other side and lift. Exhale back. Let's put both knees down. Let's walk back. Got a little bug. Keep your top of your head to the floor. Inhale, forward fold. Exhale, squat down, get as small as you can, small as a little pill bug in the garden. Bring your hands a little closer. Inhale, lift the tailbone. You can keep the knees bent as needed. You can straighten. You can also use a block. Three faces, three levels, depending upon what your back and a hamstring need today. You can get this online, Walmart, Marshalls, any place. Lots of blocks available. And exhale, squat all the way back down. 
and let's inhale and forward fold. Good, let's bend our knees, round up, inhale all the way up, lift your chin, arch back. Exhale, tighten your abs and come up and let's roll our shoulders. Oh, it's one of my favorites. You're welcome to post on Facebook. Tell me what part of your body enjoys being warmed up the most. Is it maybe your rib cage? Inhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale through the center, exhale out. Inhale, exhale. Come back center. One of the things we're not so used to doing is moving the rib cage. Bend your knees, push it forward. Push it back, forward, back, forward. You might not even figure out how to move that yet, but in time, you will. Good, let's come forward now, let's walk. Bend the knees and rock those hips. Wow, yeah. Especially if you're doing a lot of sitting. Are you couch potatoes right now? Are you computer nerds? You're on that computer all the time. Get up during the day, would you? And rock your hips, spread your feet, rock them side to side. I don't care if you're on a Zoom webinar or a Zoom phone you know, conversation. You can be on the Zoom and wiggle your hips at the same time. And the other way, don't forget, we're not just in our heads, we're in our bodies. What a gift. Virus is reminding us of that. Our bodies, such a gift. Let's inhale up and let's exhale and drop one arm. <sighs> Make sure your weight's on the whole ball and heel of the foot to keep you stable. Squeeze your glutes just ahead. Push your pelvis forward, stabilize. Inhale, way out, way up. Exhale, over. <clears throat> <clears throat> Inhale, way out, up, bend your knees straight ahead and hold a huge beach ball. Notice my belly button goes way, I'm rounding, opening my vertebrae. Inhale, up, just twist at the rib cage, grab that ball, push, push this part of your back, back, open it up. Inhale, exhale. It's not like this, it's push. Good, wonderful. Let's bring our feet together. Tighten your abs, sit down in chair. Let those thighs work. Remember, if your shoulders, if your shoulders lift in order to get your hands up, drop your shoulders and bring your arms down a little. But always use those abs. Inhale, up. Exhale, arms to swan dive, tighten those abs. Inhale, up. And now let's press the ankles in. Rise onto the balls of the feet. Yeah. And let's arch down, out into our down dog and bicycle. Press one heel and then the other towards the floor. Spread those fingers apart. Use the palms or use the fists or the forearms. Inhale, both heels up. Push your shoulders away from your hands. Tilt your tailbone up. Drop your sternum and heels towards the floor. Inhale the heels up again, push back, tilt the tailbone, drop the sternum, exhale the heels towards the floor. Good. Let's take that right foot forward, ankle under the knee, not behind. Knee can be down. Inhale up. Most first thing to think about perhaps is your shoulder, is it lifted, is it forward? If your hand is not turned sideways, your shoulder's forward. Lift it up, pull it open into the back, and then pull it down. That uses the whole right scapula to hold that shoulder down. Look up at the ceiling. 
Wrap that hand around your waist. Drop the shoulder. Get a nice stretch down the right side of your neck. Let that left front of your hip, left hip flexor drop towards the floor. Big exhale. Bring the hand back. Let's take the knee back. Tuck the toes. Press up into down dog. Push back. Tilt the hips. Push the shoulders back. Bicycle a little more. Give your hamstrings, give your calves a little extra time. Inhale, both heels up. Push back. Drop your sternum. Tilt your tailbone. Heels towards the floor. Let's inhale the left foot forward, ankle under the knee. Right knee down or up. Inhale, left arm up. Again, make sure your shoulders rotated and pulling down. See the difference in your shoulder. Reach, breathe. Wrap your left hand around your waist. Look up at the ceiling. Drop your hips. Breathe. Good. Let's bring the hand back. Let's bring the knees back. Drop your knees. I'm going to do this forward. Take your arms into a pyramid. Put them on the mat, elbows out. Take your toes to the edges of your mat. Inhale up. It's a forearm down dog. <sighs> now take your tailbone and tilt it up. And let's inhale our chin forward over the thumbs. Exhale back. Don't let the body come down. Just we're using biceps and triceps. Exhale back. Inhale forward. Exhale back. If need be, put your knees on the ground and do it. We want to work those forearms and those biceps, triceps back. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Two more. Inhale forward. Keep those that tailbone high. Exhale back. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Knees down. Quick demonstration just so you see from the side. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Knees down. Let's go to child's pose. Arms back. Relax your upper arms, biceps, triceps. Breathe. Nice big exhale. So there's always room for a nice big inhale. And now we're going to come up on our knees. You can face me. Let's take our fists, put them right into the middle of the back, arch back. Exhale up, using those abs. Inhale, oh, press the elbows towards each other, lift the chin, arch back, tighten your abs. Exhale up, good. Inhale up. Let's take the right foot out and notice my foot is pointing at the camera at you rather than out. Gives you the whole side of your foot to give you stability. Let's just exhale over. You might feel this in the leg, in the glute, in the side, in the neck. Simple motion but speaks a lot. Inhale. Always in. Exhale. Inhale, expanding. Exhale, release. Let's inhale, windmill over. Put the right hand right under the right shoulder. Pull that shoulder down and reach out between your shoulder blades. You can stay right here. You can flex your foot off the floor. You can go to a side plank if you wish. You can gently lift that foot off or a little higher or possibly more. And as you work, focus, mindful, concentrate, be present. 
Let's bring left knee in, right arm out. Inhale, elbow to knee. Exhale, move out through peanut butter or jello. Now notice I'm not rounding and collapsing. I'm keeping my back and body still, just moving the leg and the arm, using that right glute. Inhale, exhale out. Inhale, big exhale. Inhale, if you wish, as you exhale, push the air against the back of the throat. Focus, Kothic breathing. Exhale, extend. Let's do one more. Inhale, exhale, reach the side walls, flex that right foot, stretch out that leg all the way from your hip. Good, let's come in, grab your heels, crown of the head towards the floor, lift your tailbone up. Nice big exhales. You can relax. Inhale slowly. Back up onto our knees. Inhale the arms up. Fist them. Take them into the low back. Inhale, chin up. Press the elbows in. Arch back. Squeeze your glutes. Tighten your abs as you exhale up. Now let's extend the left leg. Good. Let's try that again. Let's extend that left leg. Inhale up and exhale over. Again, perhaps you'll feel a stretch on the inside, glute outside, down the right side, right neck, wherever you feel it. Inhale and expand those muscles. And as you exhale, you're letting go of all the tension, everything that has got stuck in your body. Remember, disease is simply dis-ease in the body. So we're making ease in the body. Inhale, windmill over. Take that left arm by your ear. If you want, you can lift. No, I think I had the arm up. That's what we'll do. You can go to a side plank if you wish. If you want, you can squeeze that right glute and lift the left foot a little or a little more, maybe a lot. Concentrate, be present, and exhale down. Good. Let's bring that right knee in, flex the left foot. Don't collapse the body, just inhale, elbow to knee. Exhale and extend. Inhale in, exhale. Inhale in, your right glute squeezes to keep you right over your knee. In, exhale, extend, in, open your sternum to me. Inhale in, exhale, extend, inhale in, stop as needed, exhale, extend, or just do a leg, not the arm and leg, or just the arm, in, Extend, one more, in, deep exhale, extend, reach to the side walls. Let's come in, grab your heels, crown of the head, lift your tailbone, exhale, nice, slow, deep exhale. If you wish, you can drop down, relax your shoulders, breathe in your child's pose. Good, let's tuck our toes. Let's rock back. Time for our Achilles. Dear Achilles, they're special to me. I pay special attention because I once overstretched them. They don't get a lot of blood flow. It took six months for that pain to go away and a lot of icing. So I'm careful and thoughtful and hope you will be too. You can support yourself in front or behind. You can put a towel under your heels. Eventually, perhaps the heels will reach the floor. Breathe. Good. Let's put our hands on the mat. Turn your feet out to the edges of the mat. Let's squat down, open those hips. 
Relax those shoulders away from the ears. Let your thighs, abs, your abs are not working too much right now. Kind of nice. Breathe. Now for play, we can put our hands on the mat. We can lean forward. Have the inner knee on the out upper arm. You can lift one foot, maybe the other. You can maybe balance on both. And if you fall on your head, it's not very far from the ground, so it doesn't hurt. <laughs> Rock back. Let's turn our feet parallel, lift our tailbone forward, fold. Rock your hips side to side for a moment. And again, anytime we're forward, please feel free to use a block for your body. Good. Soften your knees, sit, inhale and round all the way up. Every time I rise, I think of sunshine on my chest, on my face and exhale open. Relax your shoulders. I want to demonstrate something, have you participate. We're going to look at the shoulder blades. Squeeze, separate. Squeeze, pull them apart. All right, so we're going to squeeze them together, then you push them down and apart, and tighten your abdominals a little. Feel that solid, balanced strength and down. That's how we want to walk through life. Solid. Head over the shoulders, shoulders over the ribs, ribs over the hips, hips over the knees, knees over the ankle. And yoga gives us the skill set and the practice and the strength to do that. All right, we're going to do warrior. Right foot straight ahead. Left foot right out of the arch. One, two, probably three. We're going to bend that knee. And we're going to rotate that rib cage and inhale up. Exhale, like you're pulling a bow and arrow. Feel you separate those shoulder blades just like we just practiced. Inhale. Lift that left arm up. Look past your hand. <sighs> Inhale up again. Let's exhale and rotate the right left forearm to the left thigh. Take that shoulder. Pull it back. Separate those shoulder blades. Reach out from the middle of your back. Look up with that right arm. Inhale up. And now let's slide the left hand down. Right hand by your ear. This is where you can also use a block. It's gentle, it's kind, and it's thoughtful, taking time to listen to your body. Let's exhale the right hand down, left hand up. On the block, on the floor. Exhale down. Let's take that right hand up and wrap it around the back. Rotate that right shoulder to the ceiling as much as your body allows. Let go of judgment. Just be. If you wish, you can take the left hand under the leg and reach for the other hand. Or you can use a tie or piece of clothing. Breathe. Good. Let's push back to warrior two. Separate those shoulder blades. If you forget what that feels like, squeeze them then separate them apart and Use your abs to hold the arms. Good. Let's inhale up. Take the hands down. Step back. Press back. Down dog. Bend your knees and walk. Or hop your feet to your hands. Inhale, round up. Arms up. And let's arch back. Tighten the abs. Exhale. Up. Let's do the other side. Right foot straight ahead at me. L left foot, pardon me. Left foot straight at me. Right foot out of the arch. One, two, three. Bend that knee. Knee over the ankle. 
not behind. Also notice, you don't want your knee to float inward. That stresses the inside of the knee. Make your hip rotate, open it out, rotate your rib cage, warrior one. You can sink more deeply if you wish or not. Inhale up, pull that bow and arrow, separate those shoulder blades. Powerful warrior stance. Inhale, right arm up, look past that arm up to the ceiling. Inhale up, exhale, rotate, right forearm to the right thigh, look up past your left hand. Watch that the shoulder doesn't roll, roll it down, pull it, hold it, separate those shoulder blades. <sighs> Inhale up, and on the exhale, let's slide down to the floor, left arm by the ear. And again, you can have a block under your hand if you prefer. Exhale, left hand down, right hand up. <sighs> Exhale down. Inhale and wrap the left hand around your waist. Open the left shoulder, turn your sternum towards me. Look up at the ceiling. If you wish, you can reach under the leg towards the other foot, but if your hip is strained, keep the hand on the ground. Just be mindful. And then you can push up if needed to come back to warrior two or not. Always be helpful to your body. And then you'll feel more helpful towards others as well. Good. Ah, let's turn to the ground. Step back into down dog. Press back and walk or hop. Inhale, round up, one vertebra at a time. Lift the chest, lift the chin, arch back. Tighten your abs and thighs to come up as you exhale. Nice job. All right, let's rock. Get the feet right under the hips. Get your toes, first two toes, right behind your heels. Push your pelvis forward. Tighten your glutes and thighs just a little. Tighten your abs. We want to do our balance. Inhale up. Rock to the left foot. Flex the right, no, flex the left foot and lift. Can be low, can be high. Concentrate on that glute. Relax the ah, the traps. Feel free to use a support so you can really feel what you're trying to strengthen, and you don't have to worry about falling. That's perfectly okay. And let's open that foot, spread your shoulder blades apart, lift your sternum to the sun, yeah, and down. Let's rock into the left foot, tighten that glute, abs, flex the right foot, inhale up, gently pull it up prayer position. And you may notice that one foot, one hip is stronger than the other. Then we want to not forget the weak side. Give it its help and extend with an exhale. Separate your shoulder blades. Lift up on the thigh, head to the ceiling. Inhale, touch the sky and exhale down. Let's inhale through peanut butter or jello. Exhale, tighten your glutes and thighs. Let's inhale up and take that right left foot, wipe it back. Press your hips forward, knees towards each other. Reach up that right side, use your right glute, right side reach. Add an arm if you wish or not. Exhale down. Inhale up. Take that right foot, slide it back. Reach up. Push the hips forward, knees towards each other. Tighten that left glute up the left side. Reach up to the sky. Breathe. If you wish, 
at an arm. And release. Good. Let's inhale up. Exhale through peanut butter or jello. Tighten your abs so your arms can float freely. The compassion and love in your heart can flow freely. Cross with the right leg. Exhale forward. This is where, again, a block can be an excellent assist. And let's breathe. Let your belly button drop towards your thigh. Let your tailbone gently tilt upwards. And let the top of your head drop towards the floor. Breathe. And on the next inhale, let's round up one vertebra at a time. Inhaling the arms up, bending the knees. Engage your abs so you're sitting in a chair. You can lift the toes. You can cross and sit. You can reach towards the floor if you wish. And on the inhale, exhale, rise. Still your mind. Let's inhale up. And exhale down. Tighten your abs. Nice, strong, stable body and life. Exhale forward. In the midst of chaos, we work to find those places of stability. Let the top of your head drop towards the floor, your belly button towards your thigh. Breathe. Use your block if you wish. Breathe, my friends. Just let go. And on the next inhale, let's round up. Keep the chin down, one vertebra at a time. Inhale, chin and arms up. Tighten your abdominals and sit into a chair. You can lift the toes if you wish. You can cross and sit. You can reach forward towards the ground if you wish. Inhale, and on the exhale, rise back up. Let's put the foot on the ground. Inhale like an arrow up to the ceiling. Gauge the abs. Lift the sternum. Spread the shoulder blades apart. Ask your brain to notice the warmth, the expansiveness, the calm. And send it out in waves of love and compassion across the globe. That energy is potent, powerful, and real. Inhale up. Arch down. Let's tuck the left knee. Extend the right leg. Sit on the sits bones. Bring the left foot into the right thigh. Flex that foot. Press the knee, the back of the knee towards the floor. Inhale out and up. And once again, let's exhale out and over that leg. Again, you can, as needed, sit on something, bend the knee, accommodate your body. It's perfectly okay to adjust. Let's inhale the left hand up to the ceiling and exhale, thread it under the right. And inhale up. As you do, open your heart. Let it expand and exhale, thread. Inhale up. Notice how your heart feels. The heavy or sad, release it out of your heart as you exhale, rotate. Inhale up. Put the right arm in front, left arm over. 
Look under your left armpit. And let's inhale up. And as we rise onto the left knee, open your heart and spread positive energy. Joe Hope. And exhale down. And inhale. Open. And down. There's beauty on this planet at all times with the leg, right leg extended or bent. Let's inhale, reach. Exhale, pull. Inhale, rotate. Exhale, pull. And let's roll over the left shoulder. Separate the shoulder blades, arms out. You can straighten the right leg as needed or keep it bent. Breathe. <sighs> Breathe into your forebrain, all those neurons and neural pathways, and release all the shoulds, the have tos, all the unrealized expectations. Let it go. And inhale into the center of your brain. Once again, into all the neurons and neural pathways. And as you exhale, release fear. False expectations appearing real for this very moment. You are in a safe space. Cherish the moments, my friends. And let's inhale into the old brain at the base of the skull. Release all the hypervigilance for right now. Just be. And breathe. And on the next inhale, let's roll over that left shoulder. Walk our bodies back. Let's just lift the knees and extend the left leg. Flex the foot. Bring the right, left, right foot into the left thigh. Flesh out from the sits bones. Press that knee gently towards the floor. Inhale out and up. Hinge and exhale forward. Try to let your forehead drop towards the mat, even if you're here. And breathe. Is it the back that's tight? Inhale into the back. Exhale. Inhale. Stretch the leg. Exhale. Breathe. Let's inhale the right hand up to the ceiling. And exhale, thread. Inhale up and exhale thread. Inhale, left arm in front, right arm over, look under your right armpit. And let's inhale and as we rise onto the right knee and arch back, open your heart, your lungs, exhale down. Inhale up, arch, open your heart, your lungs, your mind to the light, to the freedom, to the energy. Exhale down, that you are. Let's bend this knee or keep it straight. Exhale, reach, pull back. And inhale, rotate. Exhale back. And now let's roll over the right shoulder. Separate the shoulder blades. Arms go out, palms up. You can straighten the left leg or keep it bent. Wiggle your shoulder blades apart. Let's inhale the arms across the body. One hand on each opposite shoulder. And now gently butterfly tap. And focus your attention into the forebrain and the center brain, and the old brain. Sending appreciation, gratitude, love, acceptance. 
Your brain is doing everything it can. And now let it be. And now let's focus our attention into our lungs. Stop the tapping. Give your lungs a deep hug of support, gratitude, hope. Appreciate, thank your lungs for doing what they were made to do and give them the strength of your energy to remain strong. Inhale deeply, exhale, release. And now inhale into your heart and just Ask your brain to notice how your heart feels. Mine was sad and heavy this day. Perhaps recognizing the seriousness of our moment. So I'm breathing into those places that are sad or scared or wounded. Inhale and fill. And as we exhale, let's open our arms and release from our hearts all fear, all hopelessness, all sadness. And inhale and fill your heart with light and hope, the power, higher power of your choosing. So we can stand strong in our role to keep humanity healthy. Inhale into your heart with positive love and light and hope. And as you exhale, let your heart close around that lighted, positive energy. And now let's roll over the right shoulder and walk our bodies up. Embody that hope, that energy, that positivity. Let's now flex both feet and roll down. Inhale, the right knee in. On the exhale, roll onto your right side. Take the knee across, your head to the left. Get a nice final rotation. We're massaging those organs. Good. Let's inhale back. Extend that right leg up to the ceiling. Exhale it out and in. Inhale the left knee in towards the chest. Flex. Exhale, roll onto your right side. Left arm out, palm up, roll your head towards the left. Breathe. Let's now inhale, roll onto our backs. Extend that left leg up. Exhale it out and in. And now let's bend both knees. Take the hands down the center of the body. Grab your ankles or your feet. Drop your tailbone towards the floor. And now let's rock side to side in happy baby pose, letting every organ of the body absorb the soothing sensation of the rocking. Let every cell be strengthened and encouraged in its path its actual design to protect and let's finally absorb the soothing sensation of the rocking into the whole immune system whether every part of the body that works to keep us safe and healthy let's stop our rocking Bring the bottoms of the feet together and the palms up. Let everything float down to the mat. Wiggle those shoulder blades down and apart. Feel free to extend one leg and then the other into corpse pose at any time. And close your eyes. Let your eyes fall back into your eye sockets. 
Let your tongue fall away from the roof of your mouth. And be like a pat of butter on warm hot cakes, melting into the floor. And now if you'd begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes, wiggle your fingers and your toes, bring your focus back into the room. Feel free to move your body any way it so desires. And then if you'd like to roll to one side in fetal position to gather your energy, feel free. And then let's bring ourselves back up to a seated position. And let's inhale together. Namaste, my friends. Go with love, light, and delight. Thank you for sharing your yoga with me this morning. Namaste.